Well, it feels great for me and also for the girls to make the first semifinal ever in SOCON history. Um, so they're extremely excited about that. And the thought that we are one game away from the SOCON championship game and, and two games away from the NCAA tournament, uh, I mentioned that to them at the end of the bus ride last night on the way back from Charleston. I think that, that hit home for them. So just that uh, it was two great opponents. <clears throat> you know, UNCG being uh, the number one seed, obviously undefeated in the league, they've pretty much set the standard the last five years. They've been the regular season champion the last five years. And we played a great, a great game against them, I thought. You know, we gave ourselves a legitimate chance to win. The first half, I thought we were, it was the best we'd played all year. We were up 1-0 at half. I think it made UNCG a little bit uneasy, but they're a very well-coached team. They came out and found a little bit of rhythm in the second half, and um, it was a good game, but we ended up losing. Uh, College of Charleston was a game that we had a little bit different approach. We were more than willing. We knew that we weren't going to create as many chances in regulation, uh, probably as Charleston. We were content to possess the ball. It was a hot day, it was 80 degrees, and we wanted to make Charleston run a bit and make them earn that possession back. So our girls played very well, did a good job switching the point of attack, playing backwards before we went forward. And fortunately, midway through the second half, you know, Simron gave us a great a goal to give us the 1-0 lead. And then at that point, our girls just did a very professional job of, of winding the clock out, possessing the ball, getting the ball into the corners and making it very difficult for Charleston to get it back. But Charleston made it difficult. They, uh, you know, they got off probably 15 shots on the day, but I think our girls did a good chance of really limiting the quality chances they had. Well, that's what I've got to figure out the next few days. Eddie Radwanski, their, their head coach, is it's going to be a bit of a chess match. He's going to look at the video. And he's going to try and figure out. He's going to try to create a new bag of tricks for us uh, on Friday night. I know he will. And, uh, he's very good at that. And um, so I think from an approach standpoint, it's going to be a little bit of cat and mouse. Both programs are going to try to figure out what the other one's trying to accomplish early on. But I think both programs are also capable of making adjustments on the fly according to how the game is being played. So, we, you know, there were some, some obvious things on video after watching that game that we can improve on. And um, they're a good team, and we need to try and make sure they don't get that rhythm that they found early in the second half against us on Friday night.